There are plenty of combat GP per hour methods within this game. But what if I told you there was an AFKable method that gives you a decent amount of GP and tons of experience? If you're excited for that, make sure you stay tuned and let's dive in. In this method, we're going to be talking about AFK and Abyssal Beasts. As for the requirements, you are going to need 109 Slayer in order to do any kind of damage to them. Also, 90 Necromancy just for you to have the abilities to be able to dish out damage to them. As for the recommended 95 Prayer for your Curses, you're going to want to use Deflect Melee here, so it's pretty recommended to have Curses unlocked as well. Also, if you have it, the Spring Cleaner, which I believe everybody has the Spring Cleaner by now. You get it through Treasure Hunter, or maybe you get it from Diango. I'm not exactly sure how you get it nowadays, but they drop tons and tons and tons of Alkables. So a Spring Cleaner is highly recommended here. If you want, if you have it, Charm and Imp, they do drop charms here and there. So you can get a little bit of a passive summoning experience while doing the save game method. But if you have it, you don't really need to bring it with you. As for GP per hour, you're looking at about 7.1 mil GP per hour, which isn't too bad for something that's AFKable. You're also going to be looking at 1.1 million XP an hour for Necromancy, which is absurd. Also along the way, you're going to be looking at 350,000 XP per hour for Constitution as well. Now for the gear, I'm running with the tier 90 Necromancy set which does wonders for this. So this is showing you that you don't need the top tier gear in order to AFK this method. I'm also going to be running with the tier 90 weapons as well. As for the aura, I am going to be running with the vampirism aura for the cape, the Zuck cape. If you have it, you take it everywhere with you. There is no wrong with it at all. And the necklace slot, I'm going to be running with the demon horn necklace, which goes great with the Atune ectoplasmator for all your prayer renewals while AFK. -ing. For the ring slot, I do have Luck of the Dwarves. You can bring Ring of Fortune, you can bring a DPS ring. I'm only bringing the Luck of the Dwarves just for that, you know, 0.001% chance for the certain ring drop that everybody chases after. As you see, also a nexus to hold all of my ruins, and I am bringing a Scripture of When God Book just for that extra DPS since this is an AoE area. Now, for the inventory, I do have some potion reservoirs. That's just to make this super AFKable. I also bring along some holy aggro overloads just to aggro all of them because sometimes they do lose their aggro towards you further down into the fight. Now, you do bring some emergency food because you never know when something does go south. Ancient Elven Ritual Shard is one of those things that I always have in an inventory. But you don't necessarily need it for AF Cannon as long as you have the Demon Horn and the Attuned Ectoplasmator so your prayers stay up. If you don't have those two things, yes, the Ancient Elven Ritual Shard is a huge thing to put into your inventory. Now, if you have it unlocked, Enhance Excalibur, you know, for all your healing, if you absolutely need it, it's a great safety item to have in your inventory in case something wants to go south as well. We also have a buttload of Magic Note Paper. They drop a bunch of different things to where you might have to note them up, like some dragon stones. So if you don't have a gem bag or something like that, the magic note paper would work wonders for you. If you have the Mask of the Abyss, it is super helpful because it does teleport you straight to the Asylum over in Sintestin. So if you have it, make sure it's with you so you can easily teleport there. Spring Cleaner, of course, is in the inventory. Like I said, these guys drop a bunch of of alkables so if you have it make sure it is in your inventory before you head to the asylum also the charm in it like i said if you have it you can bring it you can get some passive summoning xp while doing this afk method but again it's not a necessary thing to bring along after that we do have the attuned ectoplasmator that is super important if you want to make the super afk able if you have the demon horn necklace as for the Reva Bar, it is pretty simple, it's pretty self-explanatory. To start off, you're going to want to Conjure Army, more the merrier, Conjure Ghost right after, Spectral Scythe, which is one of your biggest AFK hits during this method. Then you're going to do Soul Strike, which is also another AoE ability, Blood Siphon, another AoE ability, but it also heals you. And then you have Soul Sap, and then you have Touch of Death, just for some fillers. 
You can play around with this reaver bar. You can maybe add sacrifice or maybe even divert if you want to try to gain as much adrenaline as possible while AFK. Now, to get to the Sintestin Asylum, there are a few ways that you can go. So the first method I'm going to talk about is you're going to go to the Archaeology Guild. You're going to run over to the table. You're going to click on Sintestin, and it's going to teleport you to the middle of the Sintestin dig site. And all you're going to do is just going to run northeast right down to the elevator. Another quick method is to use your Pontifex Shadow Ring, and then once you teleport it directly in the middle of Sintestin, all you're going to do is you're going to run northeast towards the archaeology dig site, and then you're just going to follow the same path, just northeast right to the elevator. Now, if you do have the pleasure of being able to attune a Portal at War's Retreat for the Zamorak in Undercity, this is probably the quickest method besides using the mask to get to it. All you have to do is you just go through the portal and you run southeast towards the elevator right past the archaeology dig site. For the simplest method, it's simple. It's just using the mask of the abyss and all you have to do is just activate it and teleport yourself to this intestine asylum. Now, once you're all set up and you made yourself down to this intestine asylum, all you're going to do is you're going to run west, run through a couple doorways, and you will find the Abyssal Beast just on the lower level in this dungeon. As you're about to go through the doorway, they do become aggressive to you almost immediately, so you want to make sure that you have your deflect melee up and ready to go. If you brought it along, you want to make sure your potion reservoir is full and it is active so you can make this a full AFK method. You also want to make sure that your Vampirism Aura is activated and that you turn on your Scripture of Wind God Book. And then all you have to do is you have to come back and check it about every three to four minutes just for your loot so it doesn't disappear. Now I did this method from 99 to 120 Necro and I don't think there's another method that complement each other on XP and GP per hour like this method does. And if there is, please let me know down in the comments. But that is going to be the end of this video. If you guys found anything useful, make sure to hit that like and maybe even consider subscribing for future content like this with Moneymakers and possibly the novice PVM side of the channel. But until next time, guys, I hope you stay safe. See you.